Hello everyone. Up until now, we understood the need for a software for subscription business and why Core SAP cannot fulfill this requirement. So with that, let's see the overview of Prim. The first phase is design in which SAP Prim assists with the creation of a uniform design for a business and pricing model along with the master agreement that will be used as the base for other downstream processes. Once this is done, the next phase solution sales kicks in. In this phase, companies define how they will sell their products with the assistance of contract management or code management functionalities offered by SAP Brim. The third phase is solution delivery. In this phase, companies define the charging methodologies for their portfolios. In other words, this is when the companies decide how and how much their customers will be charged based on the business models they pursue. For example, if a company follows event-based model, it will define the business transactions events that trigger charges for customers. If a company chooses consumption-based model, it will calculate the tiers of consumption in which customers will be charged. The final phase is solution billing. In this phase, SAP Brim lets companies manage their billing and invoicing mechanisms for consumers based on what has been finalized in previous phases. Furthermore, SAP Brim aids in the management of revenue recognition and management of various tools for revenue analysis. Now let's see what are the components of Prim and how each component is complementing one another. Prim is made up of four major components. The first is SOM, full form subscription order management. Subscription Order Management or SOM is basically SAP CRM which is SAP Customer Relationship Management Module. SAP CRM handles subscription life cycles. With S4 HANA, as we are aware that SAP CRM is now not a separate system but rather is a part of same S4 HANA box. So the same is applicable for SOM as well. The second component we have is SAP Convergent Charging, also known as SAP CC. It is not an SAP model. It is an external Java-based application which is used to handle complex pricing scenarios. The third component is SAP Convergent Invoicing, short form SAP CI. It is basically an SAP module in ERP system which handles billing and invoicing of different kinds of subscription scenarios. And the final component is FICA. And all the full form of FICA is financial and contract accounting. SAP FICA is also called as contract account receivable and payable. As we have discussed uh, that uh, these are the four major components and among those FICA manages the posting financial documents and receivables and payables. It also manages disputes, credits and collection. In upcoming session we will see each of these in more detail. Apart from these four major components, we have some peripheral components as well, like conversion mediation, short form SAP CM. It is also a Java based application and is mainly responsible for management of data. Data acquisition, data enrichment, data sequencing, data sorting and data coordination are some of the responsibilities of SAP CM.
it is created by a company called digital route next we have open text open text is developed by the company of the same name it enables businesses to have a comprehensive view of all scanned business documents and all related data across systems and applications then we have sap revenue accounting and reporting known as sap rr it lets business manage their revenue and income recognition cycles in compliance with various various accounting policies the solution comes with many accounting standards and rules pre configured and automated example asc 606 or ifrs 15 in addition sap revenue Re accounting and reporting also provides a wide range of configurable reporting capabilities for cases in which standard reports can't meet a company's requirement and last we have sap entitle management it streamlines and automates the process of entitlement management for companies the solution management manages the entitlement life cycles example managing what customer is entitled to this ensures transparency into what customers are entitled to for both the customer as well as the sales representatives for example alerts reminders etc this in turn increases customer satisfaction and provides more opportunities for upselling and cross selling this was the original sap brim landscape as explained before that som was originally sap crm which used to be a standalone module of sap it is at the top left marked with 1 the box marked with 2 which is situated at the left is conversion charging system sap cc the box marked with 3 situated at the left bottom is contract accounting sap fica and convergent invoicing sap ci this landscape was before released 1909 here we can see the new post 1909 sap brim landscape at the top we have customer management which is nothing but is subscription order management som then at the left we have convergent charging sap cc at the bottom we have contract accounting sap fica and contract convergent invoicing sap ci as we can see som ci and fica are all under s4 hana the latest version of sap brim currently is 2023 in this slide we can see the data flow across all the systems let me explain it master data when created gets copied to sap cc when subscription contract gets created in som it gets copied to sap ci with the name as provider contract and then gets copied to sap cc as well sap cm collects data from different sources and sends it to sap ci using consumption items api this data then gets sent to sap cc where cc does rating and charging and then transfers to sap ci back as billable items sap ci uses this billable item to create billing and invoicing documents and then sends the ledger details to fica in the next session we will see details about each som ci cc and fica in this slide we can see
again the data flow in a better way. What we can observe over here is uh, and what is again a very good flexibility provided by BRIM is that each of these modules can act as a standalone entity. For example, we can see over here that instead of using SAP convergent charging, we can use some other rating engine which has been marked here as legacy rating engine. Similarly, if we want to see uh, if we want to use only SAP SOM, then we can use that in that only in our project. So with this, what I am trying to say is uh, SAP BRIM is not uh, a single module or a single solution. Rather, it can be termed as a combination of portfolio of solutions. It has different components and each component also work as standalone. Now in next session, we will see in detail about SOM, CI, CC and FICA.